Wystarczy, że odpowiesz sobie na jedno zajebiście, ale to zajebiście ważne pytanie. Co lubię w życiu robić? A potem zacznij to robić. Every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you so hi guys, we just arrived at the Terminal 3 in London Heathrow Airport. We're flying with Emirates, so let's see what the Emirates is. F, which is checking zone, I guess. So we need to find that. And then we need to find the toilet, because I'm about to piss myself. By the way, I've never been there before, so it's as new for you as for me as well. I need to check in my bag first with this machine, and then I will be able to go and do the rest. So that's how the stuff will look like. Let's see how does it work. How the boarding pass is going to look like. Okay, I have it in my wallet. Okay. So there's my boarding pass right there. And scan the boarding pass. Okay. Place document, I scan it like that. Okay, I scan it like that. Alright. Place your passport on the scanner, alright. A few moments later. Okay, so I've been told that apparently if you're carrying any drone or any batteries that cannot be actually stored in your check-in baggage, you need to take out the batteries out of your luggage and put it in your backpack or whatever other luggage you're gonna be taking with you on board and you need to show them the batteries and they need to check them and put some code on them so they can identify them if something's gonna happen I guess that's what I think but yeah so I'm just checking in apparently I had to show all of my batteries from a drone and they need to I did tag it uh, and yeah, I definitely need to take it on board. I need to ask for permission to actually record anything on board as I wanted to do some review of the Emirates airline, but apparently they're a bit, a bit of a strict about it, so I'll need to ask them for permission. Let's see how it's gonna go. Um, we'll see the later on how the outcome's gonna be. I think they're pretty good. I've flown with them before to Maldives last year and they were pretty good they were really good um, there's no problem with the transfers whatsoever so yeah let's see how it's gonna go so i'm back apparently carrying the drone is a big deal for emirates so what he had to do he had to take every single battery that i had for the drone write down the serial number of every single one of them and put them in the system maybe in case of i blow the <laughs> blow something up a few moments later um, Some safety feature anyway, but um, Other than that, all good. And uh, where should I go? I think she said to the right. I'm not sure Okay, let's go to the right and let's see what happens baggage claim Because normally you can do it at the machine that I showed you that you should like print yourself a bag tag But not this time because 
it shows on the on the machine that if you're carrying a drone then you should actually go and do it in person with someone bit of a pain in the ass but it is how it is okay let's use some drink two pounds 99 jesus christ that's a rip off isn't it three quid for a bottle of water Whoa. you know duty free like explain to me people by the way if it's duty free it means that they didn't pay and a duty for it, which is supposed to be what cheaper apparently, but it's not. You still need to pay shitloads of money for it. Like, if someone can explain that to me in a comment below, that'll be absolutely amazing. That's a fast track on business class. I'm not as loaded to fly with the business class. Twelve seconds later. Actually, I bought a bottle of water. <laughs> Just before I went to security, which is stupid as fuck. But because of that, they let me go through the fast track so I don't need to stay in the queue. Wish me luck. Okay, so here we are. I went through the security. They give me my water back, which is great. And I have like three hours of waiting. Doing absolutely nothing, but it's fine. So they took my camera. They asked questions of like, what am I doing? Why am I recording? But all of the people are really, really nice. As I said before, they let me go through the fast track, which is fantastic. It saves me time, even though I have quite a lot of time because it's only 11 and my flight is two hours and 40 minutes. I think I'm going to go grab myself a cup of coffee, sit down, relax, prepare myself for a, another 20 hours of journey. My ass is going to be really, really happy about it. Ha! Gay! But I can't wait. I can't wait to actually get there. Oh, there you go. Okay. I remember that I had to buy some souvenirs. I think that's the right place. Oh, how much? Oh, you have to see that. What? What the f That's like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> they all look cute and everything, but way overpriced. Way overpriced. So, if you're looking for something cheap, you're not gonna find it here. Okay, we're looking for a Buckingham Palace, whatever with the Buckingham Palace because I promised of one of my friends that I'm going to bring her a Buckingham Palace. I don't know if this is going to be a mug. Look at this one. It's, it's like, it has like, it's plastic and it has like a, like a silicone thing on it. Very, very cute, but absolute waste of money. <laughs> but really, really cute. I love it. A few minutes later. So we continue hunting for Buckingham Palace. That lovely man in that shop actually told me to go to the bookshop or some other place to actually find something with the Buckingham Palace because can you imagine like it's such an iconic building but they don't have it like there's a big band everywhere but there's no Buckingham Palace how come it's not Buckingham Palace crazy isn't it there's a Buckingham Palace isn't it isn't that Buckingham Palace but it's a big big band and on the left what's, what's on the left is it Buckingham Palace it should be Buckingham Palace I don't know is it let me know in the comments below make me look stupid <laughs> so another failure no buckingham palace i think it's going to be a big band then because what can i do Best. if i'm not going to buy it now i'm never going to buy it i'm going to forget about it and then i'm going to feel guilty that someone but a friend of mine is going to buy me something but i'm not going to buy anything for her which is going to be quite <laughs> not very good it's a bad manner it's like coming to someone's house first time and not buying anything we do it in poland like you come into someone's house you always bring in a bottle of wine or something you know we don't do that here just to be nice oh god okay i didn't find the back in the palace but i got something else so that was a lie come on now dog come on man i'm not gonna show you now i'm gonna show you later on when i'm gonna be giving that to my friend very very cool things very expensive by the way overpriced us Ugh. but what you can what you can expect in a at the airport at the very last moment <laughs> pretty much before your flight okay i still got like two and a half hours plus let's see if they're gonna find a space for us okay let's go bought a beer fucking overpriced by the way look at the glass fucking love the glass look at that that's so cool isn't it 750 for that by the way 750 for a final beer not be inside us here but 
Boring! Okay, finally, we're departing from the gate number seven. My journey begins five hours ago. So we got 19 hours to go. Well, presumably, if everything is going to be on time. So far, so good. No obstacles, no issues, except that fact with the Emirates battery policy. We need to find the gate, number seven, which means that we're going to the good direction. Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. So I went through the boarding gate. Everything is set up. And I want to show you the airplane that we're going to be flying today. The Airbus A380. The biggest passenger airplane in the world. A few moments later. So they say my name through the speakers. I need to talk to someone from the security. Not my life. Okay, let's see what they would possibly want from me. So apparently my journey starts from confiscating one of my batteries for a drone. It is how it is. I have to suck on it. But the cabin crew is so lovely. They actually took the battery instead of throwing that away, putting that in the lost and found. So what I need to do, I need to contact the Heathrow Airport once I come back and request it back because it costs shitloads of money. Hello, good morning. 79A, where is 79A? 79A. I go too far, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's my seat. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose, if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. specialist to open it up get my sim card back so the rest of the vlog is going to be shot from my phone I'm so excited so I have a plan plan B plan B is going to be to buy a new SD card and fingers crossed that the other one is going to be saved from my laptop so I can actually use some of the content from it. Otherwise, everything's gonna be a waste of time. Okay, so this is not the end of the bad news. You know the saying that if something can go wrong, will go wrong? Okay, that's exactly what happened to me today. Look at this. See that? Normally, the screens are on. This time they're not because they had some technical issues and the charger doesn't work. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know what's going on, but I don't care. I'm on vacation, I don't give a shit. It's gonna be good anyway. If it's not gonna be good, I'm gonna make it good. Somehow, I don't know how yet. But let's try. I made the new friends, by the way. Those to help me survive this, this 
disappointment of the journey. Oh my god. But at least the food has been served. So we have here is the chicken and rice. Uh, we have some salads, also some strawberry cheesecake, bowl of water, Belgian chocolate chunk, and some bread bun, little bread bun. And we have some butter, we have some refreshing towels, some chocolate, cheddar cheese, Jacobs crackers. The only good thing about Emirates is that you're getting the metal cutlery. Let's see how it tastes like. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the game. I founded the electronic shop, so I bought myself the SD card. It cost me 35 pounds, which is not that bad considering the fact that I was really desperate and I would have probably paid every price for that. <laughs> Maybe not every price, but I would have definitely overpaid. We're going heading right now to gate number A3 to get transferred to the next flight uh, to Philippines, finally. So it arrives to get a four. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me. And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try at anything. So I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life, hope to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x ray. What's wrong with me? I just feel way. Pushing on my chest and it squeezed till I suffocate. Absolutely crazy. Just arrived after nine hours. Flight eight and a half actually. It was a little bit shorter. Humidity hits hard, and it's actually sunny, which is good. Oh my God. So tired. Hello. That's how I look like after 25 hours of travel. I slept maybe half an hour, maybe an hour. But that's, that wasn't even sleep, that was like rolling around the seat, trying to find a comfortable position so my ass won't come off, really. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. Okay, so that lovely lady at the checkout asked me to delete the last video uh, that I took for the security reasons. Whatever, I did, it's fine. No bad feelings. So now I need to wait for my luggage to come and that's probably going to take a while. A few moments later. Hello the beautiful Jane. <laughs> Where are we going? Goldberry. Goldberry. I don't, I don't want a picture like this. <laughs> that's absolutely <laughs> terrible. She's taking a picture and it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, as long as you look good, right? Women. As long as you look I good, it's fine. So I'm gonna send this. Oh, I know. Oh, that's yeah. right. I was like, yeah, okay, cool. Oh, all right. Can you apply in the filter or something so I'm gonna look good as well for your mother? The frog filter. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's gonna be better, <laughs> I don't mind absolutely. I look like shit. Look at me. Look at look at all of my wrinkles. Look at look at that. Look at this. What is this? What is this? Look. What's that? It's because you're almost <laughs> expired. Oh no, not almost. Expired already. Emotional, damn it! You are expired. You are expired. How dare you? I hate you. I hate your face. No, I hate your face. I hate your face. That's my word. Oh, no, it's I mine. No, no. Silly cow is mine. And I hate you. I hate your face is mine as well. You need to pick yours. No, silly cow. Look at that. I 
fuck my wife. I'm not gonna lie. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice way <laughs> So do you wanna tell people exactly again What you just said to me? So okay. I was, by the way, I was asking and I was like, oh, there's some people actually working, Walking shirtless here because it's quite warm And she was like, yeah, that's normal And I was like, yeah, can I, can I do it? And she was like, yeah, but everyone's gonna be looking at you And I said, why? And what did you... What did you say? Because you're white as fuck. <laughs> we got to celebrate our differences. So it's not that you're good looking or anything like that. It's like because you're white as fuck. I love it. <laughs> I fucking love it. Have you slept well? You've been sleeping? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, how many hours? Mm, eight hours. Well, fucking good for you. Oh no, oh. seven hours. Oh, oh mm, really? Only seven? Oh. Yeah. And mm, guess how many hours I've slept? 30 minutes. Is Smokey Puppy Goop Pop hello? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look at that. This is just a shortcut. Yeah, yeah, oh, I can tell. That's a shortcut that I can be kidnapped, chopped, and sent home in a bag. Oh no, that was Jesus then. There was a, I was actually, <laughs> I was on, on the wall. There was two pictures of Maria and Jesus next to each other. Okay. I was like, I'm safe. I have a Jesus with me right there. I'm safe. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh. This is bone. Yeah, but I'm bone. still alive. I'm breathing. I know. How come you eat so much <laughs> and you're so slim? Like yeah, I, need I to eat know. rice times a day okay like every yeah. filipino filipina whoever yes. lives in philippines three times a day because rice is what Life. there you go the vibe yes 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 yeah, 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 yeah. i think i found my wife <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> so finally arrived to my destination, to my accommodation. Unfortunately, I need to wait for the room to be prepared for some reason. And I'm really, really dying for a shower. If you're gonna to plan to come here, then get yourself a big, big jug of coffee. That's what you're gonna need. And that's how it looks outside. Why are you running?